Hello, viewers. Uh, today we are going to discuss about the bone marrow donation. Uh, but before that, uh, I would like to uh, request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day and uh, to support this channel as well. Uh, now, the bone marrow mm, donation, you know. So, first we need to understand what is the bone marrow. So, bone marrow is a spongy tissue found in the hollow centers of some bones. So it contains stem cells which can grow into any of our normal blood cells, you know. So stem cells in the bone marrow produce three important types of blood cells. Red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So uh, red blood cells uh, are carry oxygen around the body. Uh, white blood cells uh, um, help fight infections and the platelets uh, help to stop bleeding. Now the bone marrow... Now the bone marrow uh, donation is a relatively straightforward medical procedure. So uh, diseased or damaged bone marrow can be replaced by donating uh, by the donated bone uh, marrow cells. You know, so which help treat and often cure many life-threatening conditions, including like uh, uh, bone marrow failure or uh, severe uh, aplastic anemia. You know, uh, leukemia, which is cancer of the white blood cells, uh, which has uh, mm, uh, several subtypes. You know and uh, non-Hawkins uh, uh, lymphoma, so which is a cancer of lymphatic system uh, and a certain uh, genetic blood and immune system disorders such as uh, sickle cell anemia or thalassemia and some um, uh, severe immune system diseases, you know. Uh, so after the donation, um, as long as the transplant is successful, the new bone marrow will begin to make healthy blood cells and uh, the person receiving the donation will start uh, getting better. Now, ideally, um, uh, bone marrow stem cells are best donated from a close family relative uh, member, you know, so such as a brother, sister, because uh, there needs to be close match between the uh, tissue types. So, however, only uh, around one in three people have a close relative with a matching tissue type. Uh, so, for this reason, a number of bone marrow registers have been set up listing uh, people who are willing to donate bone marrow stem cells if required, you know. Uh, so, when a donation is needed, so doctors search the bone marrow register to try find a donor uh, with a matching tissue type. Now, it's possible uh, uh, for most people to find a donor on the registers, you know, but a small number of people with the rare uh, tissue types uh, may find it very hard or impossible to find a suitable man. Uh, so, firstly, you will be asked to provide a small sample of uh, uh, blood to determine your tissue type, you know. So, this information is kept on the register. So, you will be contacted if uh, you are a potential match for a person requiring a transplant, you know. The most widely used uh, method for of donating uh, bone marrow is known as the uh, peripheral blood stem cell donation, also known as PBSC. So, you will need to receive uh, injections uh, for four days in a row to increase the number of uh, stem cells in your circulating blood before this uh, type of donation. Uh, you will have to, to visit the hospital or clinic uh, for four days in a row uh, to receive injections uh, which stimulate the production of the stem cells. Now, on the fifth day, uh, you will be connected to a cell separator machine without uh, the need of general anesthetic. So, the machine really collects the stem cells from the blood through a vein in one arm returning the blood to your uh, body through uh, a vein in the other arm, you know. So, this uh, takes about four to five hours and may need uh, to be repeated the following day. Uh, now, if you are interested to become a potential bone marrow donor, so uh, uh, you need to register with the uh, bone marrow donation um, uh, organization, you know. Uh, but you should be aged between 17 and 40 years old and uh, should, your weight should be at least uh, 50 kg and have a body mass index uh, uh, lower than 40. Uh, so, it is best to join um, uh, uh, the bone marrow register at a young age. So, the younger you are when you join, the more chances there is uh, of your tissue type uh, being matched uh, uh, to that of someone uh, uh, who needs it, you know. Now, uh, there are um, uh, uh, currently thousands of people on the, uh, uh, the bone marrow register, you know. Um, in hundreds of thousands, you know. So, uh, before someone can donate their bone marrow, uh, it must closely match uh, uh, that the person who needs it, you know. So, this is why it is so important to include people from a, a wide variety of ethnic backgrounds. 
so at the moment uh, certain ethnic uh, communities are under represented on the bone marrow register so this means uh, it is more difficult to find suitable donors uh, for members of these communities uh, who require a bone marrow transplant uh, so in particular uh, there is a shortage of potential donors uh, uh, from the african african caribbean south asian especially from uh, people from india pakistan sri lanka and bangladesh region you know chinese uh, jewish people of uh, uh, european descent and uh, uh, Eastern European, you know, and uh, uh, Southern European, such as uh, people of Greece, Italy, Italy, and Spanish region. So, so there is a shortage of donors from uh, and these specific groups. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video, and uh, please uh, visit uh, our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com for more information uh, about the medical conditions and treatment. Thank you.